We've been fighting for this way too long and nothing has changed. And we need change now. Well, I say one life is worth more than all the guns in America. We will save lives. You are those heroes. An urgent plea from hundreds of thousands of young people from coast to coast and around the world. With chance of enough is enough, they're demanding gun reform in a nationwide protest called March for Our Lives. Saturday night, I'm Walter Perez. The big story on Action News is a history-making march in Washington, D.C. and in cities and towns all across the country. Massive crowds composed largely of young people calling on lawmakers to take action and pass common-sense gun laws to keep them safe from gun violence. Hundreds of thousands took part in similar rallies from Parkland, Florida, where 17 people were killed, of course, in a school shooting last month, to Atlanta, to Los Angeles, to Portland, all united with one message. And here in our area, thousands of people also gathered near Independence Mall to call for gun reform. They heard emotional calls to action and held signs to call for change. Action News reporter Trish Harpin joins us live from Penn's Landing, where a rally happened this afternoon. Trish. Walter, all those crowds of people marched here from Old City, ending their march with a rally here on Columbus Boulevard. They were demonstrating for tougher gun laws and safer schools. Gathered at Fifth and Market, each marching for a different personal reason. This march is for her, and this is going to matter for her that she's not confronted with gun violence when she gets older. It was a safe place for me when I was a youngster, and now it's not for my grandchildren. I'm a former teacher. I, I had high school students, and I just respect their commitment. 100% and I want to stand by them. She had a couple of incidents at her school where there was an almost a shooting uh, about a month and a half yeah. right before the Parkland shooting. Thousands gathered for the March for Our Lives in Philadelphia on the same day as the National March in Washington, D.C. and hundreds of other sister marches. Organizers say this event was student driven. They are amazing. <laughs> so they really jumped in and took the lead with a lot of different things. I think that we desperately need gun control legislation um, and that's really a big priority for us. We need more comprehensive background checks. The march ended with a rally on Columbus Boulevard. Speakers included politicians, impassioned students. Do not let this movement die. Speak with your reps. Engage with your communities. Even the father of a student at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. He says he owned an AR-15 and turned it in after the shooting. I turned it in a couple of days after the incident because every time a shooting happened, with an AR-15, I never thought it was going to happen to my family, but it did and it hit me hard. Volunteers were also on hand here today, registering people to vote. Organizers encouraged students to keep the movement going by walking out of school on April 20th, the anniversary of the Columbine High School shooting. Reporting live at Penn's Landing, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Walter. All right, Trish, thank you for that report.